this is Oliver K6OLI and I'm going to show you how to use the new WinLink Express Checking version 2.6, how to set it up as your favorite because Aries LAX Northeast is moving in that direction and then we'll show you how to save your check-in and then how to fill it out. All right, let's get started. First thing I want you to do is to click on message, go to set favorite templates. In the display name, just type in check-in or LAX check-in, whatever you want. In the file name, you click on browse. Then you go to standard templates, make sure you're using version 1.0.135 or higher. You expand that by clicking on the plus you're going to the general forms and then you're going to the WinLink check-in. You can double click this or you can highlight it and clicking select. And that will fill in the RMS standard templates general forms WinLink check-in.txt. Click on save. Next we're going to check in let's say an exercise net. Click on new message and we can go there by either going through the same way select template standard templates, general, and willing check-in. We're not going to do that now though because we just created our check-in shortcut. So we're going to click on that and that's going to bring up our express check-in. And first thing I want you to do is to click on setup and type in Aries LAX and click OK. And that's going to fill this part in and that makes sure that we know um, that that's the group that you're checking in for. Before we fill out a full check-in though, let's create a check-in template that we can use for exercises. So we'll, for this, we'll keep the date and time empty. We'll click exercise. If you're part of our Thursday exercises, then VHF, and you can either select packet or in my case, VARA FM, because I do that a lot. Send to, you can leave empty because our net controls change. The initial operator in this case will be K6OLI. If you had multiple, you would add a comma there and add people. Um, sender, in this case, is already pre-filled, K6OLI. The location, um, you can select Pasadena if you were on a deployment. This is where your hospital name would go. So, or if you were the medical alert center, you could put in Huntington Hospital or medical alert center or street address if you'd like um, or cross streets, that all works. Please always, always, always give us a location. In this case, we'll keep it simple. We'll just put in Pasadena. If you're familiar with coordinates, then please go ahead and fill this out. I already pre-filled that earlier. This is the, um, these are the coordinates for Arlington Gardens, which I use a lot for tactical check-ins. So I could actually change this over to Arlington, but let's keep it to Pasadena. And you can see the military grid coordinates are filled in. If you have a GPS dongle connected and enabled in OneLink Express, this information will be filled out automatically. You can add comments here such as um, I'll be deployable in two hours or I can do in this case, let's say v VHF, HF and mesh. That gives the, the control station an idea of um, the capabilities of the station. I can put in a comma and say I'm also solar powered and I can stay up and running 72 hours. Oops, solar power, there you go. And usually we'll click submit if you were in this, but in this case, because we're just creating the check-in template, we will save the check-in data. It gives us that option here, willing check-in 2020-0917. We'll delete that because we want to use this a lot. So what I recommend is that you type your call sign, my case K6OLI, and this is for my exercises. So K6OLI exercise, and we'll click okay. 
This always saves in the default folder that you set up within your browser. In my case, it's the downloads folder. So that's where I'll find it. Now let me show you how we're using this. All right, so we close this. Oh my God, it's lost. No, it's not. Let's start over. Let's say the net has begun and net control um, is telling us, please prepare your check-ins. So I'll go to my check-in again. And we only have to do the template once and then we can use it many times. Go to my check-in again, I load the check-in data. See how it defaults to the downloads. And here's the Winlink check-in 2020 K6LI exercise we loaded. We highlight that, we click on open and see how it pre-filled all this information we just entered. So now we just add the time and date. And we're sent to, let's say tonight is Rob, K-E-6-Y-G-F, he's net control. We can leave all of this, we can add, edit this if we wanted to, but let's just keep it running. We click on submit, then we click okay. Now we can close this. And if this pops up, the message has not been posted close anyway, click no. Don't wanna close this at this point. So it's already filled in who it's going to. If it's a peer-to-peer -peer net, remember to change it to peer-to-peer. -to -peer. If it's a gateway net, keep it on one link message. But let's assume this is a peer-to-peer -peer net like many of our nets are. From here on out, all we need to do is post to Outbox and then send the traffic when ready. But let me show you real quick why this actually matters. One thing is um, the Winlink development team has added in the tap delimited um, copy to spreadsheet function, Aries LAX and the comments. So net control, when you send it, can just highlight this and right click copy, then open a spreadsheet and then just paste the information right in there. Uh, time and date can, needs to be a little bit wider. But you can see how that makes it very easy for net control to, oops, very easy for net control to get a good overview over who's checked into the net. The beauty of this is, of course, that if you have voice check-ins, you could actually fill these in as well, um, manually if you wanted to. So it's a very powerful tool for net control and we encourage you to use this. If you have any questions, please join us for our nets or our meetings every second and fourth Saturday of the month. And with that, I say 73. This is Oliver, K6OLI.